What's up everybody, it's Dimitri here again and today I've got a really cool project. My buddy gave me an old BMX seat that he wants redone. So right now I'm gonna take this seat apart, take off all the current fabric, get my measurements, and then we'll go to the store, pick out a fabric, and then we'll redo this seat. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is gonna be a really cool one. But in the meantime, what I've got going on is I've been working on another shoe and this one is a bit upgraded from the previous shoes I made had a lot more padding and stuff so I'm really excited to see how this one turns out but let's take a quick break from the shoes and get into some BMX related stuff I'm excited for you guys to see this so stay tuned So we're making progress right now. I'm taking off all the fabric. This is what the seat's made of. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some more foam to this because this isn't quite thick enough. The customer wanted it a bit thicker. So I'm gonna add foam to this. And what I'm gonna do is all I'm replacing here is the very top part of the seat here. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna unstitch the whole top All the pieces here i cut out my fabric and i traced my piece on now i'm gonna cut it out i'm gonna sew this piece on here and then hopefully we'll start seeing this get back to its original shape What I decided to do is originally the top and sides were sewn together with a little bit of excess material here. But because I cut the stitches, I put a piece underneath the top layer, giving it a little bit of extra space. So I'm gonna stitch along the perimeter of this piece. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stitch that just like that so that way it's super close together so i stitched on the emblem in the middle here i didn't do the best job it was actually a bit harder than i expected it to be but it is on now i'm gonna try it and sew on these side pieces i have to i have to stretch these pieces because if i had left it all in one piece chances are i'd be sewing i'd be going around and then I'd end up short somewhere. So now that I know where this piece ends and that piece ends, I know that I have to start it right here on the seam and then follow it up along. And I know where my middle point is on here. And as you can see, this fabric is a little bit stretchy. So I'm gonna have to stretch it so that my middle piece on this piece of fabric matches up with the middle of the bike seat. And then I know that it ends there and then same with the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch the front piece on first and then I'm going to get the back piece on and then we'll see how it looks on the actual seat. I could have done a little bit better on my stitching and I didn't quite get rid of all the extra stitches, but I'm sure that once I have the seat all put together, that I'll be able to pull those out or at least trim them off and it'll look better. But this is finally starting to look a bit more like a seat. Pretty much finished here. I've got the entire top part completed. This is ready 
to go on the seat. But first, like I said previously in the video, I am adding a bit of extra foam first. So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna glue all this foam onto here and I'm gonna use pins to hold it in and then I'm gonna put rubber bands around it so it keeps shape. And I'm gonna let that dry overnight. And then tomorrow I'll come in and I will finish the seats. All right, so it's now day two. I just went ahead and took this off and took all the rubber bands off of the foam. And as you can see, it kept shape perfectly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim off all this excess. And when I had this on, it kind of deformed the shape of the seat a little bit. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off the sides, the side foam, just so that way the seat isn't quite as bulky and there's just more padding on top where it's needed but we'll see if I can get that far. I'm gonna trim the sides first, then see how it looks with the, with the top piece on. And if I still don't like it, then I'll go ahead and cut the sides. everyone and the seat is finally complete i'm super stoked on how this turned out it turned out super clean as you guys can see the top here is made of velvet that's the only part of the seat that i replaced and i added some extra foam to the seat but overall i think this turned out absolutely wonderful i could have done a little bit better on the stitching but for my first time doing a seat i don't think it is too bad and I was a little bit short on the back here, but I made sure to get staples in there. So as you can see, there's staples all around. But next time I do a seat, I'll try and do it a little bit better, maybe a little bit differently. But also part of the reason why I had so much trouble pulling the fabric around the ends of this is because I added that extra foam, which added a little bit more surface area to the overall piece. But overall for the first seat i've made i am super stoked on how this turned out and in the next video we'll do a reveal and show my friend who i'm giving this to and we'll see his reaction but also before you guys go i want to show you a project that i am currently working on i'm working on a bucket seat for my friend's car a custom seat and i think that you guys are gonna love this video we're going to be using this for everything for the bucket seat video. So guys, once again, I really appreciate the support. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.